<coughs> so I have started recording this. I'm uh, sharing my screen. So in today's class, uh, we are going to uh, see uh, how we can uh, display data. Data from uh, more than one table. More than one table. OK. So, uh, so far, we have seen, uh, in our example, uh, we have seen uh, the, the how to display data from a single table. We had uh, uh, accounts payable database from which uh, we display data from a vendor's table separately and uh, invoices table, invoices table separately, okay? And there is another table called uh, invoice line items, invoice line items and uh, terms table and general accounts table is also there. So uh, vendors table uh, have uh, data about uh, all the vendors or suppliers. So related to supplier name, suppliers contact number, uh, supplies first name, last name, city, state, they are uh, terms ID, general account number like that, all data related to suppliers. Invoices table uh, has data about the invoices that were generated by the suppliers when uh, we uh, made purchases. Whenever, say for example, there is a supplier named A, right? From this supplier, we have uh, made uh, three purchases, so like something like that. So we, with the uh, products they are sending for a company, and, uh, it, is, it is not like, uh, we are going to give a currency note, 5,000 currency note and buy products, not like that. For companies, when a company, uh, our company X maybe, and it is uh, purchasing items from another company, what they do is they uh, send the products and they will send the invoice as well. So those invoices will be uh, entered in our database, right? Using uh, some kind of system, maybe a, a web application or Windows application, we will uh, send the data to the database. So in the database, uh, we have uh, three invoices for supplier A. So I have already uh, showed you how an invoice would, uh, will look like. Maybe supplier's detail may be found here, an invoice date, an invoice number, something like that. And here we have uh, the list of items that we purchased. And here may be uh, the total invoice like that. So uh, supplier information here, supplier address will be there. Supplier name A, Main Street, Kalmne, uh, Osain Damaru, and their phone number, everything will be there. And these details are also here. So if you have a table, if you are going to keep this in a table, maybe a supplier ID, vendor ID, uh, vendor name, vendor contact number, city, and so on. After that, we, have, we can enter invoice detail. Uh, invoice uh, number and then uh, amount, all these details. So again, when this is for first first invoice, when when a second invoice comes, the same uh, vendor ID, maybe A again A, the same uh, uh, <clears throat> contact number, same address, same city, same uh, state, same uh, what do you call uh, zip code, everything is going to be repeated. And then invoice uh, details two, second invoice details will come, okay? Similarly, for invoice number three also, again, we are going to enter the same. So rather than repeating these uh, vendor details as uh, in, in the same table and invoice details in the same table, what they do is something called a normalization, right? Using a normalization technique, normalization, they break these details into tables and connect them. So they will have vendors table separately, okay? Vendors table separately and uh, invoices table separately. So this invoice can be further divided as a uh, invoice line item. For each item, there will be another table called invoice line items, right? So here we have uh, details of header details, invoice header details. Here we have vendors detail. <laughs> there must be something to connect these two uh, tables. We use primary key of this table. We will see what is primary key. We use primary key of this table to connect with this table. The same primary key, when it is used as a key here, it is called foreign key. 
if a primary key of one table used in another table that is called foreign key. So same here we, we have vendor number one. Here also vendor number one will be there, vendor ID one. Vendor ID two, vendor ID two. So there may be more than one purchase from uh, the same vendor. So they will be repeating here. By the way, the invoice ID will be one. Invoice ID one, invoice ID two, invoice ID three. This will not be repeated. This is like a registration number, right? So it's like we have students table and here we have a student's uh, subject registration table. First semester, you are registering for seven subjects. Second semester, also seven subjects. So we, we can have a student's table and a subject registration table, right? So student MID 001 here, 002 here, 003 here, like that it goes. Here we will register as registration ID 1, registration ID 2, registration ID 3. But here the student number 1, again 1, again 1. For seven subjects, there will be. Again for uh, <coughs> balance, uh, again for next uh, 0, 0, 002, there will be seven. Okay. So uh, this ID, this column will not be having any duplicate value. This column will have duplicate value. Right. This is, uh, this is going to be a primary key column. This will be a foreign key column. The same ID is used as a primary key here. There won't be duplicate values. So here, the same concept applies here in our database also. We have vendors table and we have invoices table. <coughs> Say, for example, we want to see the uh, vendor name, okay? Vendor name, vendor's name, vendor's ID, vendor ID, vendor name and vendor city. Also, we want to know the invoice amount for this vendor and with invoice date. Invoice date, date and invoice amount. Invoice amount. So these are from uh, vendors table and these are found in invoices table, right? So if you want to retrieve, display data from more than one table, what we have to do is we have to do something that is called join. Okay, join. We have to join the tables. So that's what we are going to see today. Okay, joining the table. So joining the table means uh, using the uh, keys, primary key and foreign key, no, most of the time, not compulsory, most of the time, using the foreign key and primary key relationship. And uh, sometimes without these primary key and foreign key, we can join, it is called ad hoc join. We can connect more than one table and display the data. There are three kinds of major, there are two major types of join. What is the one is inner join and the other one is outer join, right? But uh, outer join is uh, divided as uh, left outer join and uh, right outer join. We will see first inner join, right? Inner join means when a, if there are two tables or two more than two tables, a minimum two tables in both tables, if there are matching records, they will be repeated. They will be displayed. Okay, they will be displayed. Say for example, say for example, our Southeastern University. We have uh, in our Southeastern University, we register. <coughs> I, I I said that I I explained this in the in another class also, previous class also. We have we register suppliers. Okay, we register suppliers. And uh, when we call for supply registration, people, uh, sub, uh, companies will come and register with us. So they will look company A, company B, company C, company D, company E, and company F, and so on. Many people register, right? So <coughs> each supplier may, may be uh, supplying different, different items. So some suppliers may be uh, supply A, B, C, and D. They are able to supply computing devices, computers, and uh, electronic devices they can supply okay they are they are businesses computers and other electronic devices now when we want to purchase computers say for example we want to purchase 100 computers for mit lab okay mit lab we want to purchase 100 computers now what we do is we call for quotations okay how much uh, uh, you charge what products you have like that we will call for quotations and for all these four suppliers will be sending their quotations Maybe about 100,000, 100,000, 
100,000, 5,000, 105,000 uh, rupees like that, different, different quotation they will be sending. So out of these four vendors, we will purchase the item from one vendor only. So at that time, from A, we are purchasing. Okay. In another occasion, we are purchasing from B. In another occasion, we are purchasing from A. Uh, another time, we are purchasing from C. But uh, we never purchase from D because maybe reason uh, high price. Okay, high price, low quality, or the less uh, number of years of experience like that. Maybe for any any reason, we didn't make any purchase from this but supplier called D. Okay, for other suppliers also, we purchase from a supplier Z, we didn't buy. From a supplier Y, we didn't buy. Okay, for when it comes to suppliers table, all these suppliers will be listed. Vendors table, all these suppliers will be there. But when you take this invoices table, when you take this invoices table, we will have the details of suppliers from whom we made purchase. For A, we purchased on one time, again another time. From B, we purchased. From C, we purchased. D, we didn't purchase. E may be there, F may be there, but Y and Z also will not be there. Y and Z and D, their numbers will not be there. Okay. So here we have vendors table. Here we have invoices table. Okay. So matching records in both tables, these people will be matching. Okay. But these people will not come. They will be here. Okay. Although they will be here, D, Y, Z, A, B, C, D will be here. A, B, C, not D, E, F, like that, they will be here. So, in a join, in a join, in a join, displays data that is found in both tables. Right? That is found in both tables. That is called in a join. Okay? Any any doubt? <coughs> any doubt? Please ask me. Any questions? Sir, can you explain again, sir? Yeah. Say for example, we have uh, two tables. Okay, two tables we have. We have here. We have a table, a uh, vendor's table. Okay. Vendor ID, ID, name, address. Okay. So vendor number one, two, three, four, five, six. Say we have only six vendors. Okay. Here we have invoices table. invoices invoice id invoice id then vendor id then invoice uh, date amount something like that say for example we have purchased from vendor number one vendor number three and vendor number four only from these people we have purchased. Maybe uh, from vendor number one, we have purchased four times. From vendor number three, three times. From vendor number four, two times like that we have purchased. So whenever we make a purchase, we will receive invoice from these people. Okay. Invoice we will receive. So this invoice will be entered from in, in both these tables. In a sense, this table will have already will have registered suppliers, vendors with us. And we are going to update invoice table. So when you make the purchase first time, vendor ID one, okay, uh, invoice ID one, vendor ID is also one, okay, maybe amount maybe a uh, thousand rupees. Again, second data entered, invoice ID two, again vendor ID one, maybe two thousand. Again, we are entering invoice ID three from vendor number three, okay, a thousand. Again, we are going to buy from. Uh, invoice id number four from vendor number four maybe 500 so here one again we are buying from uh, 
when the number four thousand rupees so this is gone two two times again we are buying from vendor number one for 500 again we are buying vendor number uh, vendor i vendor number one uh, 600 so here one 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 four times he has come here four two times come and three we will make another three eight transaction id eight vendor number three uh, some amount one two and again three some amount okay so we have uh, made the purchase from this is vendor's table. Vendor's table. This is invoice's table. Invoice's table. <coughs> Here, sample is given, vendor's table. And here I have invoice's table. Invoice's vendors. Okay. Now, invoices and vendors will have matching records so vendor id is the connecting point okay vendor id is the connecting point so in both tables here we have one two we don't have three we have four we have but two five six will be here so this is vendor's table now so uh, these three records are common for both tables here we have one here we have three here we have four okay inner join inner join will retrieve inner join will retrieve data that is found in both tables or more than one table more than two tables okay that is how this inner join works so joins we use to connect more than one table. This join can be categorized as inner join and outer join. Outer join can be divided as right join and left join there is another join is there full join we will see that as well right full join so these are two these two are important so we are going to focus on inner join okay shall we see an example okay sir okay sir right let me go to my uh, management studio i'm going to click on uh, new query now say for example i want to retrieve data from so first i am selecting accounts payable okay i want to retrieve data select vendor id vendor name from vendors okay then vendor id invoice date invoice maybe invoice total from invoices let's run this fine let's run this fine so vendor id and vendor name you see vendor id one two three four like that goes you can hear also vendor is found okay order by vendor id here you see so vendor id one two three is not there only vendor id 34 37 like that comes okay so if you want to get data from both this table there's a format right so we will put this here we will put them all on the same line select vendor id vendor name again vendor id invoice date invoice total so no need to repeat this vendor id okay we will get this out so vendor id vendor name invoice total and invoice uh, invoice date and invoice total so uh, vendor id and uh, vendor date uh, vendor name are inside this table so no red lines since these two columns are not here it is showing a red line 
So this table, these details are found in invoices table. <coughs> okay, invoices table. So there's a method join vendors table. It joins invoices table. How it is joining on this is a keyword on invoice ID from vendors table equals invoice uh, sorry vendor id from uh, vendors table equals vendor id from invoice table so in those two tables in both tables vendor id is found so uh, the computer doesn't know which vendor id you are referring here and which vendor id you are referring here because in those uh, two tables in in uh, Vendors table also there is vendor ID and invoices table also there is vendor ID. Here you see it is gold color key. Here you see it is a gray color key. Gold color key means primary key. Gray color key means foreign key. Okay. So we have to clearly mention it is like this in a class. In a class, there is a Navas. Okay. There is a person Navas. Another person is also there. His name is also Navas. There are two Navases. So when the lecturer comes and calls Navas come here, which Navas will come? So it, it creates ambiguity. So what he will do is, the first Navas' his father name is Mohammed. Okay. Second Navas' his father name is Samsudin. So he will call Samsudin Navas or Mohammed Navas. For other people, if there is a person called subras, if there is only one subras, no need to you have to add the uh, father's name, last name, you no need to add. Similarly, same like that, we have to tell here table name. So vendors dot vendors vendor ID. So this vendor ID is from vendors table, and this vendor ID is from invoices table. Okay, fine. So those red wavy lines have disappear but still this is showing because the computer is asking here which vendor id you are talking about from vendors or invoices i'm going to tell from vendors now it will also disappear so this is how it works execute comes <clears throat> so vendors table here vendors table here from invoice from here and this is also from invoices so we are connecting only the matching records just see select vendor id from vendors okay if you run this you will see vendor id from one two three like that it goes but here if you run this it comes from 34 let's say order by vendors vendor id <coughs> still 34 because from the other people we didn't buy from these people from 1 up to 33 we didn't buy okay maybe uh, others also may be there 34 35 and 36 are missing 37 38 up to 47 missing so from them we didn't buy only from these people we have bought only from these people we have bought okay these are repeating but we will see in another chapter we will see how to group them okay how to group them without any duplicates we can group them okay any 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 query any questions So if you want to run another one, so select vendor name, vendor city, and uh, invoice, invoice date, invoice total, maybe a invoice total, payment total, invoice total. Payment total, payment total from 
these are from vendor table vendor table this table is joining with uh, invoices table how it is joining on using the primary key of vendor table vendor id equals the foreign key of uh, invoices table vendor id because you can see this how they are connecting you can see vendors and invoices you see they are connecting this vendor id with this vendor id because this column is a foreign key here this key means primary key and this uh, infinite means a foreign key relationship okay <coughs> properties yes you see invoice dependence See when the name, when the city, inverse date, inverse total, and payment. You can also have this uh, where clause here applied here. So if you want to show the uh, invoice total above five hundred or thousand like that, where where invoice total greater than thousand or ten thousand maybe. Yeah. We have uh, six rows, six records. Okay, the, this will be expiring in uh, 10 minutes. Uh, you can uh, reconnect again. Huh? Okay, sir. I'll, I will, I will uh, close this now and you can uh, reconnect. Huh?